Well, believe it or not, the Calgary Stampede is now into the ranching business with the OH Ranch, a ranch that is a living, breathing, inspiring environment for young and old. And to explain more, we have Bonnie Clark, who's a communications advisor with the Calgary Stampede. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, Phoenix. Love your hat. Oh, thank you. Sharon Lightfoot is also here. You Hi. are an education coordinator with the OH Ranch. Correct. By the way, if you want to follow along, hashtag OH Ranch. Where did the name O.H. Ranch come from, Sharon? Okay, well, O.H., uh, those are the initials of Orville Hawkins Smith, who were the, one of the original founders of the O.H. Ranch back in 1881. You know everything about this place, don't well, you? Well, that's My what they goodness. pay me for. <laughs> I'm sure people are saying it's the O. Ranch. O.H. Ranch, or as my mother will say, the Ho-Ho Ranch. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> say that, does she? Spelt backwards, it's Ho-Ho Ranch. I love this. Now, the Calgary Stampede has involved with land purchases before, Bonnie. This is nothing new to the Stampede. Well, it is very uh, innovative in one way. The Calgary Stampede has owned the Stampede Ranch out by Hannah. That's 22,000 acres, and we have about 600 head of horses there. Mm. And that is the bucking stock. These are the animal athletes that you see performing in rodeos, not only at the Stampede, but across North America. America every year so we have been doing that for about 60 years but this was a really innovative thing that happened uh, two years ago for our centennial year mm -hmm. Bill Siebens um, made an incredible gift to the Calgary Stampede yeah. of the OH Ranch now this is 8,000 acres this is a 130 year old authentic working cattle working, ranch, working ranch yes. with the mm -hmm. intention the vision really was to maintain this ranch as a a whole package to maintain the history of it and to maintain it as a living legacy for the benefit of all Albertans but Sharon, mm -hmm. we took this to one one next a next level to another step to make sure that there was an education component as well too, bringing in kids maybe even adults as well too to say look hey you know what as much as you love living in the city and you buy your groceries from yes. the store and you see your meat products on the shelf and everything is all happy wait a minute there's more to this than meets the eye explain Absolutely. that educational component well the educational component is actually based on the Alberta education curricula and so basically we're looking at the social studies and science curriculum and the OH ranch is an ideal place to be able to instruct students on the geography of the land the histories the stories of the yeah. ways of life in Canada and also the building of our very unique identity that we have here in Alberta. So the OH Ranch is just a perfect backdrop for that with the history, with the historical buildings, mm -hmm. with the herd that we have. We have approximately 220 red and black Angus cattle uh, oh crossed with Hereford. Goodness. We're a cow-calf operation so the kids can see it. They can witness it firsthand and it's that historical piece that we add mm -hmm. into that whole program. So it's just a phenomenal So phenomenal Bonnie, when, when kids go to this OH Ranch and they see the spectacular uh, happenings at this ranch. What is the big goal for the Calgary Stampede when when kids are there? What's what's the intent? What's the goal? The goal is to make sure that this living legacy is in fact living for people and that when people come there they see what an authentic cattle ranch is. Mm -hmm. When you come to the Stampede for example you see just a snapshot of a calf and a cow's life. You see for example a large cow being held um, led around on a halter. Right. That doesn't really actually happen on the the ranch. Um, cattle are not naturally that uh, that calm in crowds and on a halter unless a, a lot of work has gone mm -hmm. into that. So this is a way of bringing people out to actually see an authentic situations so cattle and horses in their very most natural environment that they live in all year round if we lose that connection if we lose that connection mm -hmm. between city folk if mm -hmm. you will and country folk if you will there's a danger what's the danger Oh, there's, we're, I would all argue we're already starting yes, to lose that absolutely. because really? people do mm -hmm. not have context around a horse, around a cow. Yeah. Um, only 2% of um, people in general society have regular contact with livestock. So even their context of what's normal, what, um, what an, a livestock animal is, this is not just a large kitty cat or a large dog. This is a very mm -hmm. different breed. They're a, they're a prey species versus a predator that, mm -hmm. that our mm -hmm. dog or a cat is. And so there's a lot of different um, context 
context around that. And so then people start, I guess, uh, pushing back against what is very common, what is very best practices, in fact, sure. on the ranch. They don't understand that context. They, they don't even understand the species, let alone the context in which um, actions are happening. And so I think there's already starting to be a risk so with that loss that. of context. And this, mm -hmm. this is maybe one way to help change that. Yes. The, um, the OH Ranch is available to anyone. How, how does this work? Sharon, okay, so, no, so it is not available to anyone. Okay. As a matter of fact, I tell my students that they are very privileged to be out there because we are right now... Invitation only. Invitation okay. only to grade five students. And that's it? That's it. Today, for anyway. the time being. So maybe things mm -hmm. might change. Things okay. may change. There's an opportunity perhaps in the future to expand it, uh, but right now the grade five curriculum fits very well okay. with... OH ranch. And let's hope that does change because mm -hmm. I, agree, I agree with you 100% Bonnie. Yes. We, we cannot lose that connection mm -hmm. with city life and farm life. Ladies, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It is Bonnie Clark, Communications Advisor with the Calgary Stampede and Sharon Lightfoot, Education Coordinator with OH Ranch. Still to come all season or all weather. Yep, we're talking tires next. First, here's what's happening in and around our city. This is trending on Shaw.